and I know I've said this probably a million times and I would tell this to all the people that are postpartum but sometimes it's hard to do it for yourself sometimes it's hard to like remember hey you need a shower like you need to go and take a shower not because you stink <laughs> well you might especially your postpartum <laughs> but because it's important hey guys welcome back um, we're in a little bit of a different area I've been kind of messing around with trying to find a designated area for me to be able to film that's not going to involve me having to like take things and bring them out and put them away and do all of those kinds of things so I look a little disheveled right now <laughs> I don't have very much makeup on but I figured you know what a video up is better than no video at all even if it's not perfect do you guys feel me Thumbs up if you can agree. I had some help with the kids for a little bit, but I wanted to sit down and I wanted to kind of share with you guys postpartum, what has been going on. I've gotten a lot of questions this time around on how I'm feeling postpartum, how I'm doing physically, mentally, emotionally postpartum. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name's Jamie. Um, I am a mom of now four little ones and in the past I have struggled pretty bad with postpartum depression. I did a video that I will link in the cards up here kind of just talking about uh, my experience with postpartum. That was with my son Jude and um, I went on an antidepressant following having him. I was a few months postpartum and decided to go on an antidepressant and also decided to continue staying on the antidepressant during my pregnancy with Ingrid, my most recent baby who is just almost three months right now. Um, and so I have continued to stay on it now postpartum as well. I feel like that has made a huge impact on how I've been feeling postpartum this time around. Um, I normally have a chemical imbalance and so having an antidepressant really balances my serotonin levels and helps me immensely and so if you add in the mix of hormone issues and um, adjusting to a new baby and all of those crazy things of course staying on an antidepressant is going to help me <laughs> so I'm glad to be able to sit down and kind of share with you guys how it's been and um, I feel like now I'm coming onto the other side of it we're nearing three months and so um, I feel like I'm kind of coming out of the fog a little bit and I can chat with you guys and share with you how it's been and how I'm doing now. So I guess kind of to back it up a tad bit, I don't want to go too much into detail, but postpartum recovery for me as far as physically goes was the easiest by far this time, like night and day difference. If you guys have watched any of my other pregnancy vlogs or um, my postpartum vlogs with my last two, you'll know that I had a really, really rough postpartum recovery with Ezra, my oldest son. I tore, it was like, it was bad. It was really bad, I won't even go into details. And then with Jude, it wasn't horrible, um, but it still, I feel like I had, I had a little bit of a, a time recovering from him too. And so this time around, we are settled in our house. Um, I have three kids already. I had a beautiful, beautiful birth that I will link up here if you haven't watched that birth video. And it just, it felt so much different. I didn't tear at all. And so that in itself, like totally, totally different. If you guys know if you've torn or had an episiotomy or anything like that, like it just makes recovery so much harder, so much harder. And so this time around, I had to tell myself like, okay, you don't need to do the laundry right now. You need to just rest because I felt physically so much better than I did with any of my other recoveries postpartum. So I literally had to like talk myself out of doing all the things because I knew it was in my best interest for my body to just rest. As far as emotionally goes, um, I definitely, right after I had her, like immediately postpartum, I think I dealt with a lot of like the weepiness and just the little baby blues that you get following like those couple weeks following postpartum. For me, I've noticed that the hormone drop and like the intensity and the, the crashing feeling um, that I've gotten when I've dealt with postpartum depression usually happens at about two months postpartum. And that was definitely right for me this time. I feel like right now I'm on the very end swing of it. So I'm not totally out of it, but I'm not not in it yet and it you know sneaks up on me and then surprise I feel like crap you know <laughs> I had a really rough couple weeks where 
I just, I had no motivation to do anything. I felt crappy. Um, I was so exhausted. And this was right at around two months. So this is almost a month ago. And it was hard. Like, I felt overwhelmed with all the things in my house. Thankfully, I feel like I did not crash. Um, I didn't really reach, like, a point where I felt like it got really bad or I, I felt like I really needed something. Um, I needed to ask for help from John. There were a couple times when he would come home at night and I was like, I need to check out. I need to go upstairs and take a bath and just be alone for a little bit, you know? And he was like, that sounds lonely. Why do you, why do you want to be alone, you know? And I'm like, because I have not been alone all day, <laughs> you know? Like, normally when people are depressed, they're alone all the time. Like, for me, I'm taking care of people all day long. And I can't even do basic things like take a shower, you know? So that was something that I needed to do. I needed to voice to him. I need to be able to take a bath or a shower. I need to be able to, you know, sit upstairs and eat junk food if I want to and watch Netflix for an hour without anybody needing me, without anybody wanting something from me. You know, obviously I'm gonna nurse Ingrid, I'm gonna take care of her because she's a newborn, but I just needed that, like, that. I mean, we all need a moment to ourselves. We all need a time to just be and not be needed, you know? Like that will make you go crazy if you are needed 24 seven, right? And I'm speaking to a bunch of moms. So I know you guys totally get what I'm saying. So once I started voicing that to John and I started realizing the signs and feeling the same feelings I was feeling, feeling the same feelings I was feeling. Once I started recognizing those feelings I was having um, that I had had after I had Jude, I knew, okay, I don't want to go there. I don't want to get to the point where I feel like I'm so desperate and so lost that I can't function. I didn't want to get to that point. And so that was when making sure I was staying on top of my medication, making sure I was taking my prenatal vitamins. I can't stress that enough. As a postpartum new mom, um, whether you have five kids or this is your first child, it is crucial, crucial, at least in my opinion, to be taking in nutrients and vitamins if you're not getting that in a balanced meal. And I know that if a lot of you guys are like me, you ain't getting it in a balanced meal. You're like, you know, my kid has half a sandwich left, so I'm gonna just eat what's left on his plate while I'm nursing the baby, changing someone else's diaper, and then trying to get them down for quiet time so I can have 20 minutes of sanity to prep for the afternoon, get dinner ready, do all that, you know what I mean? Like, you're just, you are surviving. And I think I would have felt a lot better had I stayed on top of my vitamins. So something as simple as that. And for me, I started taking the Smarty Pants prenatal vitamins. This is not sponsored by them by any means, but my kids took the Smarty Pants vitamins because they have the folate in, in them. They don't have like the folic acid, they have the actual folate in that form and they have the same thing in the prenatals. And so I started taking them thinking, eh, whatever, like, and they're gummies. They're so good, you guys. <laughs> they're like addicting, they're so good. It makes taking my prenatal vitamins, like I look forward to it, cause it, they're like, they taste like fruit snacks. They're so good. So once I started taking those, and I'm glad that I got ones that I liked, I felt so much better drinking water all the time. I was guzzling cherry Pepsi and caffeine and just like, I felt like I was treading water. Like I was like, I'll just drink caffeine all the time. I like pop, it tastes good, but pop is such high in sugar and then I'm caffeine and then I'm crashing and I'm wondering like why I'm not feeling that great. Do what you need to do to take care of your bodies. Once I started getting back on track with taking care of myself, taking care of my house didn't seem so overwhelming. I decided to repaint our bedroom. So if you, I don't, I didn't film in here very often because I didn't really like the color of the walls but um, it's just like a light off-white color in here now, and that made such a difference to me. Our bedroom feels like a haven now. It feels so relaxing, I love it, and I want to be in here. I, I feel, when I come in here at nighttime, it feels relaxing to me, which, night and day difference. So I painted our bedroom, and that felt so nice. I took care of some things around the house that needed to get taken care of, and I just started getting back the motivation um, and the drive to keep things up, to take pride in taking care of my children, 
to feel good about making dinner and to just have that drive and that motivation that I definitely didn't have. So now coming out of that, I feel like I'm coming out of that, not on my own strength or by my own strength, but by God's grace alone. And thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for where I'm at, at least today. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I feel good today. <laughs> I just feel like our family is finding balance and I'm seeing how important rhythms are in our family. Just staying on top of rhythms in our home and knowing how important it is to have that structure, to have that time together, to consistently be in that rhythm, especially with little kids. If I could tell you anything to take from this video that I've learned this time around postpartum, it would be don't forget about the things that you need, like your daily needs. Take care of yourself. Drink water, take your vitamins, take your medication if you are on a medication. Make sure you're staying on top of yourself because if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not gonna be able to take care of anybody else. And I know I've said this probably a million times and I would tell this to all the people that are postpartum, but sometimes it's hard to do it for yourself. Sometimes it's hard to like remember, hey, you need a shower. Like you need to go and take a shower. Not because you stink, <laughs> Well, you might, especially your postpartum, <laughs> but because it's important. It's important for your psyche to feel clean and take care of yourself, you know? So that's it for today, you guys. That is kind of where I've been postpartum, where I'm at right now postpartum. Please comment below and share with me. Um, have you guys been? How was your experience postpartum? Are you postpartum right now? Do you have any questions or anything that you'd like to share with me or you would like to know from me? I would be more than happy to chat with you guys in the comments down below. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you guys later.